Tonight we are learning about ratio and rate tables. So please pull out your notes that look like this. Notes, ratio, and rate tables. We have a couple of definitions. A ratio or a rate table is a table in which the columns are filled with pairs of number that have the same ratio. So these pairs of numbers are proportional. An equivalent ratio express the same relationship between quantities. So let's see exactly what that means. Our first problem says, to make a cleaning solution, you mix one cup of bleach with 16 cups of water. How much bleach should you mix with 80 cups of water to get the same strength of cleaning solution? So that means it's going to be consistent. It's equivalent. So... Since 16, we have to figure out what times 5 gives, a, or sorry, what times 16 gives us 80, and that's 5. 16 times 5 equals 80, and as we know, what we do, we can act like this is a, a fraction, a ratio, 1 over 16. So what we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator to get our answer. So 1 times 5 is 5. Therefore, it would take 5, we would want to each quantity, multiply each quantity by 5. So we add 5 cups of bleach to 80 cups of water. Seems pretty simple. And that's because we've learned how to do proportions and ratios. So let's try this next one. Patrick can make 8 chairs in 20 hours. At this rate, how long will it take him to make two chairs. So again, we look and we want to see our fraction. So our fraction is 8 over 20, and we're looking for this x right here. Okay, so we've got to decide how do we get 8 to 2. But we do have this middle fraction, so that means we're not going to quite get to 2. What lives um, in between 8 and 2, what can we divide by? We can make sure that we divide by 2. So, right here, going from 8 to this missing one, if we divide by 2, we get 4. And to make sure that that's correct, if we divide 4 by 2, do we get 2? Yes. So we're going to do the same thing here. 20 divided by 2 equals 10. And then to get x, if we divide 10 by 2, 10 divided by 2 equals 5. That means we need a total of 5 hours in order to make 2 chairs. I would like you to try this one on your own. Lily's heart beats 56 times, and looks like there, that should be an I, times per minute. At that rate, how many times will her heart beat in five minutes? So you need to see the relationship between one and five, and what you do to the denominator, you're going to do to the numerator. So please press pause and work this out on your own. Okay, we will check this one tomorrow with our table. Moving on to scaling. How do we use scaling? What does scaling mean? Well, scaling is multiplying or dividing two related quantities by the same number. And a scale factor is that number by which you multiply. So sometimes you may need to scale back a number and then scale forward to find the equivalent ratio. That sounds like a lot, so let's put it into practice. So number one says skim, skim milk contains 80 calories for every 8 ounces. How many calories do 10 ounces contain? So can I get 8 to 10? No. So like we say in our proportions, if our answer is no, what do we need to do? We need to simplify or scale back. So how can I simplify this ratio? Well, I could divide it in half, or I could see that 8 goes into both of these evenly. 8 divided by 8 is 1, and 80 divided by 8 is 10. 
That means that if right here, right now, I divide by 8, and I divide by 8, that means I get 1 over 10. Now, can I get 1 to 10? Yes. 1 times 10 equals 10. And what I do to my numerator, I do to my denominator, so times 10. 10 times 10 is 100. That means that for 10 ounces of milk, I have a total of 100 calories. See this one. Joe mows the lawn during his summer vacations to earn money. He took 14 hours last week to mow eight lawns. At this rate, how many lawns could he mow in 49 hours? I would like you to try to solve this one on your own. So asking, is there a whole number by which you can multiply 14 to get to 49? The answer here is no, there is not. So we need to scale back and I would like you to decide what we're gonna scale back and scale forward to get the number of lawns in 49 hours. And you do not have any sum summary questions for this set of notes. So once you finish with number two, then you are finished with this set.